Welcome back. See discussing attending to children with special needs and disabilities. So why do some parents abandon their children with special needs? Thank you very much. Uh, you mentioned parents. Parents mm -hmm. are actually the first set of people who abandon them. See what I mean? Because that is why we have a uh, parents forum where mm -hmm. we have to bring them together and teach them how to attend to their children understand their children who have one disability or the other. If the home doesn't abandon, the society wouldn't abandon. Of course. And so most times they feel stigmatized. Recently, I spoke to some people. I said, these children are from certain places, but some people call them some, or some of, or some of uh, a kind of masquerades from the forest, evil forest. But no, when you stay with them, you keep them, when you understand them, you tend to see in, inward what this child can do. And then you understand that they're actually not from the evil forest mm. as people see them. And parents feel, oh, my neighbors shouldn't see me with this child. But was it your fault? Is so, it the fault of the, of, the, of the children? It's not the fault of the children. It's not even the fault of the parents at times. Most times we've realized that the medical aspect could have been a kind of a issues while a woman in labor, mm. a prolonged labor, or after delivery or post-delivery, you have a child who's got what we call sort John of this. Yes, John John this. Thank yeah. you so much. Things like that. And then prolonged, unattended to, mm. brings about one form of disability or the other. And sometimes polio as a result of a child not vaccinated mm -hmm. yes. at the right time. So it's actually not the fault of the parent, not actually the fault of the child. So no one should be blamed for that. But do yeah. but, but you also think that a woman being pregnant at a certain age could also lead to that. Yes. Uh, yes. So, yes, we do have such. We yes. have some parents who come up with certain sicknesses mm -hmm. while pregnant. I had a child uh, in the facility at the time. The mother had cough while she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And she kept taking antibiotics, antibiotics, oh antibiotics. Unknowingly to her, it's it was affecting the, the child. And then it gave the child a brain damage. So when the child came, and that was all. So that is why a whole lot of lectures, training has to be given to pregnant women while uh, waiting for a day of delivery. Mm. A whole lot of sensitive issues happen to children mm. while the women parents are, mothers are pregnant. Yes, in our own time, during anti antenatal, they also mm. teach us a lot. One of the first things they tell us that don't take drugs anyhow. Exactly. No matter how you feel mm. when you're pregnant. Exactly. Um, but they say if it's so bad mm. uh, that maybe your house is far to so the, the clinic, hospital? you can mm. only take paracetamol, just two tabs only, mm. and visit the hospital. Mm. But uh, uh, that, like the scenario you gave now, mm -hmm. she half cup, she was just buying antibiotics by herself. Antibody, self self, self uh, medication. You see, you see also where, where it comes from. That's and then true. if that child now, she will mm. not say, hey, this died from, from the evil forest, mm. if, 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 from the devil. Mm. Exactly. Well, that's part of the blame. It's even to her, unknowingly. Oh, exactly. So parents, who, those of you uh, who... Uh, should I use the word victims of this? Mm. You should not feel stigmatized. Mm. You should not feel bad mm. because you don't know what's going to come up from that child. Exactly. Let's show that child love, love because you are the mother that brought him or her into this mm. planet Earth. Exactly. Let's show that, that child love. Mm. And I let's take this one before I take another break. What okay. are the roles of government and your organization Thank in you. providing the necessities of these children? Talking about the government, <laughs> I will use this language. I keep praying. As an advocate for children with disabilities in Nigeria, particularly the Southwest region, mm. we've been doing so much of awareness and we're doing one in recent, in December by God's grace. The role of government, uh, as such, during the Buhari regime, we were able to see that the bill was passed into law mm -hmm. before he left the, the office. The, the office. Yeah. Uh, that has been able to create the awareness that disabled have law. You can't mm -hmm. treat them anyhow. Anyhow. If you, if you look at the priority buses, you have observed that there are seats for them yeah. and where they will be attended to. And in some offices, you have rams and mm -hmm. as, made to have them accessible yeah. easily to offices. We just pray that the government will come to implement this law. And so that's why we have so much of these NGOs who come every December 3rd, the World Disability Day, yeah. to tell the government and plead to the government that government should please implement these laws, especially in areas of participation mm. in the governance. Mm. And for we who are service providers, 
Even for caring too, they can get some money to care for these dis disabled. They are, they, are, they, are, they are citizens of, of the, this nation. They're citizens. We, we, yes. we, we just pray and we keep praying and wow. calling on the government to assist these ones. Mm. They are actually suffering. Mm. We must say that. They are actually suffering. Their parents, most of them are fed up. And that is why you see them, show them. You have some of them will give you a story of, I was asked to inject my child to die. We oh have to God. throw this child into the lagoon. And then we see some of them. So, and these children are doing well. Mm -hmm. They are doing so well. So our part is to see how we can care for them. Give them a little assistance. Understand them. Check what they can do. Most especially to have them have a good life. A life of independence mm. where they will not have to depend mm. on people. And then most times, what worries me most is, when the parents are gone, what happens to this child? That is, that is the issue. What happens to this if, child? If parents are alive, they, they, they don't even care. They so don't even happen? care. Which family member, which sibling wants to accept the child? So what we have to do now is what, we, what I call early intervention. Yeah. Putting a little assistant in their system yes. to see how they can be what they can be Also tomorrow. have sense of belonging. Sense of belonging. And they are not, you know, you will give them the confidence that I can do it. And um, I just tell you, for such, even the sky is not the limit for some How many of them do you have in your home? We have about 20. We have some in Ogun State and we have some in Lagos State, two facilities. And they also go Nigeria. to school? Yes, we have in house uh, okay. academic sessions for them by the grace of God. Oh. They are doing so much. Oh, bless so well. you. Oh, bless Thank you, you, so you, much, you and, your, and your colleagues for that. Thank you so much.